On a whim, I picked up a rum from the past. Many of you will still have this on your shelf. Sailor Jerry, the tattoo lover's rum. Haven't had it in a while. I figured you could watch me drink it. No corks here, of course. Ah, it's got the safety pourer on there. We know how to deal with those later. It's funny that this bottle spends less time talking about the qualities of the rum and more time talking about some basic biographical information of Norman Sailor Jerry Collins. It says, and in his name, we make our spiced rum. So it sounds like he had nothing to do with it, but what do I know? In any case, it also said it pairs well with ginger ale. I brought none. <laughs> this should go well. Well, firstly, let's get some into Riddler. Hmm. What I do remember about this is coming back to me, that it had a uh, very distinct sweetness to it. But it's rum, so it makes sense. I'm not one for distinguishing smells, so I'll just leave it at that. Here comes the Sipperoni. I get the traces of the sweetness, but also a whole lot of attack alcohol bite. But let's put it through the usual paces. Uh, Jordy has brought us some ice. Let's make it cold. I guess we don't need you. This usually helps diffuse the Arr. All right, Popeye, here we go. Definitely doesn't strike me as one that should exist on its own. And all I brought is Coca-Cola. So that's gonna have to do. Do your best, mate. Tis not your fault. Well, hopefully that's a good enough ratio. Thank you, Bluebeard. Ah, rum and coke down memory lane. Cheers, mateys. Okay, I could be wrong about this, but I just got blasted by something that kind of reminded me of cinnamon. But considering how much they talked about ginger ale, ginger beer, maybe it's ginger. I'm not good with flavors, but it's got a nice spice to it. I could see drinking these around uh, December-ish for that Christmas vibe. Might go good with cookies. Mm. Mm. I don't know, it takes me back. I think the moral to the story is make sure you mix this one. Thanks for watching. Yeah.